Tierra del Fuego or Land of Fire in Spanish is the southern tip of the South American mainland and divided into Argentina in the east and Chile in the west. We access this remote region by ferry from Punta Delgada in Chilean Patagonia. A 20-minute ride across brings you to cruise Bahia Azul on Chilean Tierra del Fuego. From here, we headed south across windswept Desolate landscape for little more than an hour to Parque Pinguino del Rey on the shores of Bahia Inutil. Ray or King Penguin is a colony of 150 king penguins located on the shores of Bahia Inutil. It is the only colony of the second largest penguin outside of Antarctica and the sub-Antarctic islands. This penguin species is characterized by a silvery-gray coloration from the nape to the tail and mainly whitish coloration in the front. On the throat, Chest and jaw are highlights of yellow and orange and its intensity depends on age of the penguin. way along the shore of Bahia Inutil for around two hours, passing wild guanacos and a few small fishing communities on our way until we reach the town of Porvenir. Porvenir is a small colorful town with its strangely shaped trees in the town center. The interesting yet sad history of the region of Tierra del Fuego can be seen in Porvenir. From Plaza Selknam and the town's museum, we were able to learn about the indigenous Selknam tribe which have disappeared today as a result of the settlers. They were one of the last native groups in South America to be encountered by migrant ethnic Europeans or Westerners in the late 19th century. They are considered extinct as a tribe. The exploration of gold and the introduction of farming in the region of Tierra del Fuego had led to a drastic decline in the numbers of their population a process that is described as genocide. The best way to experience Porvenir is to walk down its quaint streets with colorful houses and specially trimmed trees and enjoy the quietness this faraway town has to offer. With the icy winds and a sleepy town, it's a great place to end the day with a Chilean-style Copa of Vino. And that brings to an end the snow-capped mountains, glaciers, green hills, and icy winds as we head north to the Atacama Desert, nearly 4,000 kilometers away.